sister. Yes, we hear you. We hear you. Yes. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are swell. I missed you guys. And I just want to start off this I just want to start up this video by saying thank you guys so much for all your love and support like honestly this channel is growing bit by bit by bit and that's all thanks to your sharing your liking your commenting like it really goes a long way so guys thank you so much for that and please keep it up like let's grow together anyway so today I'm going to my first black students union meeting and basically um, I'm going to share with you guys what my expectation is. I'm excited to be joining the Black Student Union. I've always dreamed about it. I always see these things in movies, like in, in Gronish and in, um, Dear, was it Dear White People? Dear White People. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to join and like, you know, shoot guys. Shit. Shit. Anyway, guys, so behold what my expectation is. All right, everybody, welcome to another Black Students Union gathering. Remember, we are the sun, we are lit, we are Black, we are Africans. Aluta, continua. And now we're gonna welcome our president, our queen mother. Welcome, sister, Benita, soul fire, forever. Yes, sis. Welcome, my people. Welcome, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome, the black, the beautiful, the bold, the brave, the Africans, to another gathering of the Black Students' Union. I am here, your president, to address you today. And I wanna ask you, does your life matter? Does your black life matter? Does the life of your brothers and your sisters matter? Because I'm here to tell you today that they do, all right? We deserve uh, to eat watermelons and not be called bougie, ratchet, and ghetto. We deserve to eat chicken wings anytime we feel like it and not be judged for it, all right? We deserve a cup of Kool-Aid here and there. We deserve the finer things in life. Preach it, sister. Preach it, sister. Yes, we hear you. We hear you. Yes. Are you going to keep allowing yourself to be told every single day that you don't matter, that you know what, you're pretty for a black girl and for a dark skinned girl, you're actually quite cute. Are you going to take it? No, we're not. My brothers and my sisters, we're going to take a stand today for the black people, for the Africans, for those who were sold in slavery, those who are taken from their homes, from their roots and brought to America. You see, they tried to bury us, but they did not know that we are seeds. My brothers and my sisters, Brother Malcolm, Sister Sheila, Brother Morris, are you with me? Are you gonna fight the good fight with me? As I say, Ungawa, black power. Ungawa, black power. Ungawa, black power. Aluta, continua. Amandla, awetu. Viva la revolucion. All right, guys, we're gonna gather next week and we're gonna talk about gun violence in the black community and how to keep our brothers and sisters alive. Thank you very much. We have uh, snacks at the back. Of course, we have watermelon and we do have chicken wings and you know we got that Kool-Aid. Okay. I'll see you next week, y'all. So I am back a year later. This is, this right now, as you're looking at me now, is literally a year later from when I recorded that video before. And I wanted to be able to give the perspective from someone who was like brand new about to go to my first meeting I'm so excited to someone who now has been there for a year and not only have I been there for a year I went from being excited about my first meeting to now being on the exec board. This is my second term on the exec board now 
so I get to see things a lot differently you know what I mean and something that I found interesting you guys know I'm an international student I'm studying I'm I'm South African but I'm here to study in America I'm able to I connect to the to the to the lives and the pain and the struggles of black Americans being black myself coming from South Africa where we also have racism and we had apartheid and you know what I mean so we have similar struggles but it's interesting to see it from the perspective of someone who doesn't belong to the country and those struggles don't necessarily belong to me you know what I mean like they're when when we speak about these issues i can relate and i can comment on it but there's that disconnect of me not being an african american you know or a, an african living in america or a black person living in america however um you choose to or they choose to or we choose to identify as um so i have like an interesting perspective from that from that end but guys let me tell you um bsu from what I've learned, it's just an environment where people get together, we chill, we talk, we play games, we do homework, we, you know, we talk about the school system and, you know, other stuff, you know, um, <laughs> but we also talk about things like voting, who should you vote for, it's interesting to hear the perspective of the black students in terms of the voting and who they think is going to be best fitting for them and we're discussing who's who's promising to cancel student learnings my boy who's promising to give 1k a month like you know what i mean but we also talk about things like gun violence and what's that doing to the black community losing nipsey hustle and takashi you know what i mean him you know doing his thing what he's doing where he's doing and how he's doing it whatever he's doing as well as the police killings i mean the one that recently happened is the woman in Dallas who got shot in a house when she was visiting her like so we speak about that and how this pains the black students how this pains the black community and recently I was stopped by the police actually I was in a car with my friends and we got stopped by the police it was because my friend didn't have her light on or something like that it was something minor but as soon as those lights flashed my heart skipped a beat you know I was like I've seen this too many times I've seen the news um, even before I came to America we've seen it in the news we've seen it on Instagram on Twitter and on Facebook we've read about this and how it goes and as soon as that happened my instinct me who's not from this country who is here on a like who's here to study you know what I mean like I said I'm able to see things from the black American perspective but I'm not black American I'm not African American I'm not American. <laughs> um, automatically, the scene looked way too familiar to me, and I remembered what we speak about in BSU, and I remember what we see in the news and stuff. And I was like, okay, great, record. You gotta record, um, just in case something happens. That was my initial instinct. You've got to record, and that really made me think about safety. Do black people feel safe? with police officers? Do we trust police officers to protect us? When you're in trouble, is your first instinct to call the police or are you automatically believing that the police are your threat? I'm not answering these questions. I'm posing these questions and if you have an opinion, drop it down below. But my initial instinct was, okay, start recording. So there I am, I'm recording it. I'm not gonna include it onto here because there's no need for that. But I started recording it and all this man really did, he was like, yo, where's the insurance? Your tail light is off, or, your, or he was like, your light is off, um, where, where are you going, and stuff like that. And all while this is happening, my heart is skipping a beat, and I told my friend. So I was in the back seat, my two friends were in the front, one was driving, of course, and I told the other friend, I was like, sis, you better make sure you, your hands are visible on there. Um, and I'm just there in the back, like, keeping totally still, you know, I got my phone like this, keeping totally still. My friend at the front is having an anxiety attack, you know. And this whole experience, again, it made me question how safe do we feel around police, you know? And I, as a non-American, had to pick up on, let me say, the fear of the African Americans, the Black Americans. And I'm not American, but I had to connect to that because at the end of the day, my skin is brown. I'm Black, you know what I mean? 
even worse i'm not from this country and y'all know how y'all know how y'all treat y'all know how people who are not from this country be getting treated so i'm like shoot i'm in double danger i was like jesus take the wheel okay i did not come to this country to die um but anyway the reason why all of this is relevant it's because we it's things that we discuss in bsu you know, BSU provides a community where black people are able to come together and speak about what endangers them, what makes them feel safe, what it means to be black in America, what it means to be black, period. You know, as black people, we struggle with, am I black enough? Am I too black? Am I beautiful? Am I light-skinned enough? Am I dark-skinned enough? Something interesting as well is me being African. Now there's the thing of like, okay, Africans versus African Americans do they I know like the people the world sometimes some people speak about it of do Africans like African Americans do African Americans like Africans water 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 what's the real difference you know what I mean um, so there's that we discuss identity the African Americans who are still connected to their roots meaning they know what African country they're from they still their parents raised them carrying that culture and those the traditions and they 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 may not speak their mother tongue but they sure do know about it they sure do know where they're from and versus the Americans the African Americans who don't know what African country they may be from and they're curious about it and you know what I mean anyway this video is not meant to be like some you know I just wanted to say that reality is do we have powerful conversations yes we do sometimes sometimes we play sometimes we just do nothing but the point is BSU is important because as I believe as black people we do need a, a we do need a space where we feel safe where we feel like people can relate to us where we feel like we're not going to be told we're being dramatic or you or um slavery ended so many years ago apartheid ended so many years ago therefore everything should be okay you know because we are the ones who see the reality of the state and the condition of black people you know but anyway i'm not going to go into that you want me to go into that comment down below if you have an opinion comment down below that's all I wanted to say about this I also want to know from you guys two things the first thing do you want me to do a giveaway I just want yes do a giveaway or now nah, we don't need a giveaway and if you want a giveaway I'm gonna need you to start sharing guys like I'm gonna need you to start sharing give me the inspiration and the motivation to do a giveaway you get me bro and the second thing is what was the second thing i don't i i don't remember <laughs> three thousand years later the second thing is i want you guys to let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in terms of you know my experience in america what do you want me to talk about what do you want to see so that i can like properly integrate being south african living in america and stuff like that so whatever you want to know comment down below so i can give it to you thank you very much anyway that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys